What's up guys, it's James Allen, the out-of-state investor, and today's an exciting video because I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five real estate markets to invest in for 2022. Now there's a lot of different ways to determine a best real estate market. It could be the best appreciating market, it could be the best cash flowing market, but what I like to do, and I talk about it a lot on my channel, is I like to target markets that give you that combination of cash flow and appreciation, and that's the exact criteria I use for my top five real estate markets in this video. Now before I get started, do me a favor and support the channel by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already done so, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna watch more content like this. And for those visiting for the first time, I'm a real estate investor. I primarily invest out of state. And so I have a lot of experience buying rental properties, doing fix and flips and things of that nature. So if any of that interests you, you're definitely gonna to wanna to subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this. And with that said, Let's jump into it. So like I mentioned, this list is gonna be my top five real estate markets for that combination of cash flow and appreciation. You see, I think it's very important to have that combination of cash flow and appreciation because with appreciation, that's gonna be the tool that you're gonna to use to build that massive wealth that's gonna help you scale your portfolio at a much faster speed. Whereas cash flow is that extra layer of protection. It can protect you in a downturn because you're still gonna get that monthly cash flow even if the market drops and at the same same time, you can build your passive income to a point where it can cover all your expenses and you can start to be financially free. Now, I want to add to that that all five of the markets I chose are in landlord-friendly states, which in general is a good idea to do, but especially in these times that we're in, it's becoming more and more important. So with that said, here are my top five markets for 2022, and starting at number five, we have Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, with Knoxville, full disclosure, I invest in this particular market myself. Itself, and so I can vouch for this market that it's been a phenomenal market over the last few years for cash flow and appreciation. We've seen almost 50% appreciation in just the last three years. Now, currently with Knoxville, the median sales price is at $285,000. Population growth is showing 1% year over year as of 2020. And over the last three years, we've seen over 2% in job growth. Now, one of the most important things to look for for growing markets is migration patterns and Knoxville has seen some massive migration for the size of the market. Well, in the last year alone, Knoxville has had a net migration of 4,686 people. And although there are markets with much larger numbers than that, on a per capita basis, Knoxville is among the top in the nation. Now, both price growth and rent growth have been really good over the last year for Knoxville. For price growth, we've seen almost 12% year over year growth on a median sales price, but it can be a little a bit misleading because on a price per square foot basis, we've seen over 22% year over year growth. Now rent growth has also been doing tremendously well in Knoxville. We've been seeing a massive shortage of rentals on the market and add to that the booming migration that's been happening over there. And you can see why there's been so much upward pressure on these rents. Speaking of which, rent growth is up currently over 18% year over year and up over 32% over the last three years. Add to that the current housing supply is only 1.8 months of inventory. And in addition to that, over the long run, the last 21 years, Knoxville has averaged over 3.5% appreciation on an annual basis. As far as cash flow goes, you can still find cash flowing deals in C to B grade areas. But with that said, you may need to target value add opportunities in order to make the numbers work in these kind of areas. So overall, the Knoxville market makes for a great market for both short and long-term appreciation opportunities. In addition, to still being able to cash flow. Now, the number four market to invest in in 2022 is Atlanta, Georgia. And Atlanta comes in with a median sales price of $340,000, just over $30,000 shy of the national median price. Population growth went up over 1% year over year as of 2020, which is the most recent data we have for population statistics. Whereas with migration in the last 12 months, we've seen a net migration of 29,150 people, which 
puts Atlanta as one of the top destinations in America. We've also seen a solid job growth in the last three years of 2.5% and in addition to that, a very low unemployment rate of 2.5%. As far as price growth goes, Atlanta has seen almost 19% year over year appreciation and in general over the last 21 years, Atlanta averages about 3.4% appreciation. Rent growth has also been strong there with 19.3% year over year appreciation and over 31% in the last three years. Atlanta also has a very diverse economy and has some great future developments in the works. Now one of the developments to keep an eye on is their Hub 404 project which is basically a signature park along with different trails and grassy settings. It's estimated to be a $200 million project situated over the Georgia Highway 400. Now their goal with this is for it to essentially be like the central park of Atlanta. The real development you want to keep an eye on in Atlanta is Centennial Yards development because that development is a $5 billion development in downtown Atlanta and so that development is going to be massive for the city. This development is going to span over 50 acres including apartments, office spaces, retail among other things. Add to that a current housing supply of only 1.2 months of inventory and Atlanta is still poised for some short term growth in the near future but in addition to that over the long run Atlanta is very fundamentally sound and so I really see Atlanta as one of the top buys. If you can find a cash flowing property in this market in a decent neighborhood you're going to do very well with a long term buy and hold. Now the number three market to invest in for 2022 is Huntsville, Alabama. Now Huntsville currently has a median sales price of $292,000 which is almost $100,000 below the US median sales price which means that there are still cash flow opportunities in this market. Huntsville is well known for having great jobs in the aerospace defense sectors and these jobs pay high wages stemming from employers like Redstone Arsenal, Boeing and NASA. Now because of these jobs Huntsville actually boasts one of the highest per capita incomes in the state. With that said the fundamentals are rock solid in Huntsville, Alabama. The population growth alone was at 2.1% which is more than double the national average. Now its population growth is growing so fast that it's actually outpacing the growth of housing units over there. It was actually reported that between 2015 and 2019 that population growth actually outpaced housing units by a rate of 5% putting it at the ninth highest rate in the country. Now as a result the housing supply has been very low in Huntsville currently only at 1.1 months of inventory and because of that that's had a huge effect on price growth which has gone up over 17% year over year. Job growth has also performed very well in Huntsville with 6.4% growth in the last three years which is well above the national average. Add to that low crime rates, super low property taxes and a very landlord friendly state it makes Huntsville a very attractive option to invest in for 2022. The number two market to invest in in 2022 is Jacksonville, Florida. The median sales price currently sits at $315,000 making it still possible to find cash flow opportunities. Now rents according to Zillow are currently sitting at $1,634 a month which is a 19.5% increase year over year. In addition to that the price growth has been almost 19% year over year which is pretty phenomenal for a market that still has cash flowing rentals. Now even over the longer term Jacksonville averages over 3.6% over the last 21 years which puts it as an above average market for appreciation alone. Now fundamentally population growth has gone up 1.7% year over year which is very good and in addition to that net migration has gone up 11,000 people in the last 12 months which for a market of 1.6 million people is a really high rate. Add to this a small housing supply of 1.4 months of inventory and job growth of 6.5% in the last three years and it's really not hard to see why this market has been completely on fire. Jacksonville also has some major developments underway with one of the biggest ones being the One Riverside Avenue project. The plan is to demolish the old Florida Times Union building in the Brooklyn neighborhood and then spend about $250 million on this development. Now this development will consist of 39,000 square feet of retail space, a grocery store, 265 multifamily units, a restaurant, and a parking facility. Now in addition to that, one very ambitious developer is hoping to do a $1.1 billion development in the city of Jacksonville to really put Jacksonville on the map. Now this is just simply a proposal at this point. Nothing's actually been approved for this project, but if it was approved, this would include a convention center. This would be all brand new multifamily and retail commercial spaces. It would be a massive project for the city of Jacksonville and it really would be a sign that things are really starting to take that next step for the city. And finally, my number one market to invest in 
prediction for 2022 is Tampa, Florida. Now Tampa's median sales price sits at $321,000, which actually doesn't sound that much more than Jacksonville, but if you go to a price per square foot basis, Tampa sits at about $195 a square foot, whereas Jacksonville sits at about $180 a square foot, which is a pretty big difference. But with that said, rents are also higher than Jacksonville, currently at $1,884, which is up over 23% year over year. Now couple that amazing rent growth with the amazing price growth of over 21% year over year, and you can see that Tampa is one of the best performers in the country right now. You see, the reason I have Tampa as number one on this list is because not only does it have amazing growth that's some of the top in the nation, but it is still possible to find cash flow and deals in this market. Now the reason that Tampa's been experiencing this amazing run has been its fundamentals. You see, population growth wise, it's up over 1.4% year over year as of 2020. But with migration, Tampa has been one of the best performers in the nation with a net migration of 27,847 people in just the last 12 months. And a big reason for this has been jobs. Job growth in Tampa has gone up over 7.3% in just the last three years, which puts it as one of the best performers in the nation. Now, when you couple that with an extremely low housing inventory of just 0.9 months and a low unemployment rate of 3.9%, it's really not hard to see why Tampa has been doing so well. In addition to all this, if you consider the long-term aspect of Tampa, it's performed extremely well there as well. You see, over the last 21 years, it's averaged over 5% annual appreciation. That puts it up there with the likes of Phoenix, Seattle, New York, and other big markets like that. And finally, Tampa has some major developments in the works. The biggest one right now going is the Water Street Tampa development totaling over $3 billion. This development's gonna include things like commercial, residential, retail, entertainment, and public spaces. And right now, phase one of this development is expected to finish in 2022. So it's really just the early stages with this development right now. And there's also several other massive developments taking place right now in Tampa. So overall, if you're able to find a cash flowing deal, which that's gonna be the trickiest part is trying to find that cash flowing deal. It is at that higher price point that makes it very difficult to find. But if you can find a great cash flowing deal in Tampa, Florida, it's gonna be phenomenal for both the short term and long term. So overall, these are my top five markets to invest in for 2022. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did and you gained some value today, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell to watch more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments below, where do you plan to invest in 2022? Finally, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at The Out of State Investor. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.